Hi, my name is Laura Van Pate, and thank you so much for coming to my ePortfolio. I'm currently a junior at the University of Maryland, and my ePortfolio is supposed to show what I've done and be used towards a potential employer. So my ePortfolio is split up into five different sections. The first section is on the far left, and that is my resume. My resume includes what I've done in school, what classes I've taken, what work experiences I've had, my GPAs, all that you can find in my resume. Next is the very top section, the introduction section, which has four items. The first item is a statement of purpose, what I personally want to do. As a journalism major, I want to be a sports journalist one day, and it's all about that. My second item is a cover letter. I put the cover letter that is targeted towards the Pro Baseball Hall of Fame, basically explaining what I want to do with them and yeah, all that. My third item is this video. And then my fourth item is a reflective essay about the entire ePortfolio, what I did, what I chose, all that. This um, next section under it, it says University of Maryland, and it's a project that I've done here at the university. I did it with WMUC, the local radio station. It's called Brentano Strings Quartet, and it's a package that was put on the radio. What happened there is I went to a concert, the Bretano Strings Quartet was playing, and there were four of them, two violinists, one violist, and one cellist, and I interviewed people there, and it was broadcast on the radio. I feel very confident about that project. Next up under there, it says Community College of Baltimore County. That was the college that I went to before University of Maryland, and there is an interview assignment, which I did for my introduction to journalism class that I took during the spring of 2022 semester. So that was kind of my gateway ticket into journalism. It was really the first journalism project I ever did. And yeah, I just want to showcase like how far I've come in the journalism field. Then under that is my class section. Those are the classes that I've taken throughout college. And then finally, the last section says says Stories Beneath the Shell, and it's an article that I wrote for Stories Beneath the Shell about an art exhibit that happened at the Stamp Student Union, which is uh, a building here at College Park. Basically, it explains the entire gallery, and the four artists were all a part of the LGBTQ community, and what the gallery, gallery represents, and that was published in Stories Beneath the Shell, which is a newspaper on UMD. Thank you so much for watching this ePortfolio and have a good day.